Right, yeah, we should be getting ourselves underway pretty shortly here. So, going to have an exciting one between these two teams. Do you favor a draft? Do I favor a draft? I do like what Radiant have got. I th think I like Azure's draft more. Um, and I'm not saying this only because it's Azure. I, I hate that. I hate going for one team just because I think they're stronger. I also hate when someone is like, one of the casters are like, or analysts, oh, I'm pretty sure this hero fits here very nicely. And you're like, okay, why does this hero fit very nicely? Oh, because uh, it's really good against the enemy team, this, this, and this reason. And meanwhile, the only reason they're calling it for is because he, the guy has a thousand games on it. <laughs> it's like, come on. They would pick it regardless. I just to, uh, so everyone knows we are getting a remake. Oh, are we? Um, okay. Yeah, yes, yes, we are. That was, uh, that's why some of the voice, sorry, the all chat was going on and admin was, uh, trying to communicate what the issue was. So, so yeah, we're going to have a quick remake. Won't take too long. Just need to get everyone back in this next lobby. Yeah, yeah we're chilling. You can, uh, have, what's up? It's Meepo. my window, Meepo. Yeah. Window, Meepo. <laughs> I have me. I must say, I've... I have an axe in, yeah. in there as well. Uh, that's an uh, agony cool. scepter. Thank that's you. an AC from 1970s. I've got the Ricky as well, but you can only see him there because I also have a sentry ward below. Huh? Huh? And also, there's a clockwork there. You see the clock? The the the, uh... the black picture. That's a clockwork. That's a clockwork? It's, it's actually really nice. The, like, the, the picture is actually really good. I want to go back and show you. see it. top left, there's a Viper. Uh -huh. Kind of see. Uh -huh. Middle left, there's a Shadow Fiend. Uh -huh. Bottom middle, that is what we call a Faceless Void. Pretty strong at the moment. Uh -huh. uh, middle, there's a Tide Hunter. Uh -huh. The light's kind of, you know, making a bit... Wait, let me What's see what down I there? Can... What's below? I see some... Up? Underneath you, you. What, underneath it. What, what what's underneath it? Ah, ah, underneath, right? Wait, let me get in the lobby first. Is the get lobby up? Lobby. Get in the lobby and then show me house tour. House tour with Aries. No, I don't right, see I the lobby the yet lobby. though. Okay. Spanish book, not important. Learning German right now, so who cares about Spanish? Mm. Mi, mi amor. Ah, but okay. importantly. I have a Lego bonsai tree. Oh, I saw I that am... one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's new, right? Like the. Oh, it's relatively new. Can... Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you assemble it already? No, it's in the box, brother. I mean, I guess it's hard to tell. Still in the box. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I am in lobby. Yeah, no, it's still in the box, unfortunately. So this one will get done very shortly. It's a bit of room decoration. I have uh, some like Lamborghini as well, some white Lambo that I'm gonna put with it. Uh, but that's the floor again the heroes top right mm -hmm. that's what we call a leaner right, okay 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 um bottom right that's a sven uh top you guys kind of can see it's a bit of a rock man again that light's kind of in the way okay this that? look at this board that is a clockwork that's a that's a pretty cool painting poster i right? should say actually yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys can see me turn the lights on live. I haven't done this before. Usually, I just keep everything on. I, I got it as a gift from one of the uh, stream viewers, but I don't know where that dude is anymore. I haven't seen him in a long time. Thank you again. What up, brother? We are, we're waiting for you, mate. Come on. Hurry up. I don't give a shit about your, your poster, your painting. I had enough of it. You I want a game. me, mate? You want to fight? We know this wouldn't end too well for you. Nice, I, nice. I've I've seen you at land. <laughs> it's uh not a pretty sight. It's not a pretty sight. Just uh, I uh actually to be roasted here. I gave you compliments earlier in the day. Yeah, that's that true. Was, that's true. It's balanced. You said you were liking them. Balance and all yeah, things. I did. I I got the message by the way um uh, about our Australia discussion. I got a message from one of the viewers and he wrote to me, don't listen to his lies. We in Australia check our shoes before we uh, 
before we put them on every day he is wrong um you will put them upside down at, and tap them on the ground just in case always what do you have to say about your for yourself uh, it you like gives us? no context it's just this is the thing like what do you he gives no context where's he live where's he live yo i mean, live in, in suburban Australia. melbourne yeah isn't but the, where isn't it, it, it matters same? no it's <laughs> not all the same these things matters you can't just say i'm wrong and give like no context to anything you're saying I'm not saying if you live in the freaking bush if you 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 you're kangaroos like in, in your backyard or not like that, yeah i go camping you, a lot don't you don't you have kangaroos in your backyard they're relatively close like i can go for a five minute walk to a park and i can see some there kangaroos, you go <laughs> but it's not my backyard i'm suburbia so like th this is the thing like if i go camping then yeah like i'm going i'm going camping for a week next week I'm, I'm very excited what? i'm looking forward to it why, and... why why would you camp in australia why would you do that to yourself just because stay... it's not dangerous just don't be an idiot it's I need not the hard this, this australian thing is just it's it's way over the top it's it's just too dramatic just don't do dumb shit. don't go out and like pick up firewood with no gloves on don't like run into the bush where just be smart it's not hard it's like come on are you going dangerous. are you going to the bush are you going to the bush yeah 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 I, yeah can we you, go can, full every easter can you please check your shoes before you put them on I'm like this is a thing when you can't when you're camping it's a different story like context is important when if i go camping um yes i'm like i'm a little bit more worried about you know spiders and and other things like that i, I would be cautious but in sub in suburbs but again he could live in your know, western australia he could live on you know there's some really dangerous beaches in like uh in like queensland area as well where you you don't mess around like there's some nasty there's like four things on an island that will kill you there's like you know dingoes and stingrays and sharks and yeah they're just that rips they're not good they're, they're, it's it's not good but you know it's it's a particular spot you know what you know what's good we're back in the game we got action we got kills who cares about australia we see i are dying and maybe low <laughs> what happened to the io listen <laughs> I know Scriff called it a stingray. That was more of a dino right there or some uh, <laughs> kangaroo punches. I'm not sure what how to describe what happened to him. Is He's Puck, Australian. P Puck looks Australian. Puck looks like some fish what? that lives in Australia that would probably kill you if you touched it. Oh, come on, like, dude. You're only saying that because you got a beer belly. Kind of disrespectful. Yeah, that as well. It fits, though. Nah, you know what? I'm done with you. <laughs> All right. This bad stereotype about Australians being alcoholics. Well, absolutely not. But look at yourself. You're absolutely not that. And ripped. you're fit. You're ripped. You're taking care of yourself. Like, congratulations. And <laughs> thank you, brother. I mean, you have to thank be you, ripped. Brother. You have to be ripped. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> you have to be ripped to survive the, the bush, I guess. Are you uh are you familiar with sketch? Do you know who sketch is? Uh no. Okay, you are you're not hip with the I'm not current hip. top streamer. That's okay. Thank you, brother. Anyway, let's get uh let's get ourselves into it. Hopefully there's gonna be some people that uh seen some I, I, sketch I, clips. That guy is yeah, okay. I thought you were just trying to be Australian over the top. No no no. No, yeah, no, you no, would no. say thank you, mate, if you, if you were, right? Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. By the way, FY playing with uh, Sticky Napalm on top lane versus Abaddon with a Photic huh. Shield. Uh, what, what, would, what would make you do that? No one plays with the... Uh, I guess Flame Break did get nerfed. But still, Sticky Napalm into Abaddon sounds like a grief to me. Um, I don't... I, I was going to say, like... May, ah, there's no way you would even want sticky napalm for like a level one fire compared to anything else. So yeah, I'm very intrigued on the reasoning behind it for FY. Yeah, goal key is two already. He got firefly. He managed. Sometimes uh, when you start the lane like that, you you can't even do anything. 
On mid lane, however, Han versus Ori is also getting bodied, even though he got uh, uh, picked after the Lash. 12-3 on Lash, 6-0 on Puck. It doesn't get easier, I would like to say it does, but it doesn't, like, it, it just continues like this, he continues spamming you, continues refilling his ball. I think this is probably one of Ori's best heroes as well, which is incredibly scary that you're gonna have the eye to be able to buff him up this game, so... This is a hero that I'm very surprised was pretty much... I mean, it, I think his level 20 talent, the Pulse Nova damage was decreased from 40 to 35. So yeah, I mean, that's... It's a nerf, but like, it's that's just it's just not enough. Uh, this hero is very dumb at the moment. Surprised they didn't like do anything with the Kai buffs as well, because we are seeing... Yeah, hey, what's what, going on? What, what patch was this? 735... D. Okay, D, D. Okay, yeah. Because I was looking at... Uh... Lesh and I'm like, wait, they buffed the Edict again? What the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, wrong one, brother. Uh, have not buffed. That would be, uh, yeah. That, that would be maybe a typo, maybe a mistake. If that Edict got buffed again. No, it's, uh, you know, it's still chilling. Chill's still very strong. I'm just waiting for the patch when Necro gets plus one armor again. Those were the days. Hey, well, that armor adds up. Yeah. Every oh, patch, yeah, Necro plus one armor. Unplay was unplayable, but would get one armor. I see him five movement speed, maybe even three movement speed. Just making an odd number, why not? See him, only hero that deserves it. Yeah, just messing with everyone that, that has OCD, you know. <laughs> oh, the tether was oh, yes. not good. Bot lane? No. Yan Ming, first blood's gonna be given over low. Only one point in the rocket barrage, unfortunately, not enough to get the return kill onto the dino. Yeah. So, already two kills for the boys on dial. I feel like, uh, you, you, they didn't practice a lot of IO recently, because usually that would never happen to a team, but, uh, the, what basically happened is they, he untethered so that he can move away and then tether again. But they moved too close to one another, so the tether didn't move him. Um, he couldn't escape with it. If Gyro moves just slightly backwards, Io is fine. He he gets to the tower range. Wonder if Tian Ming's gonna get a read that the Undying's here. I don't know if he saw that previously. The he knows, Watcher he knows. wasn't taken. He knows. Okay. He knows. Just head out. So I guess this is definitely one of the strengths about the Abaddon is like you are a very self-sufficient laner but you have no small camp to re-drag the wave and currently the equilibrium is really bad so Bark is going to be able to play this lane for free and we already see that enables FY to get some stacks going at the Ancients in the hard. Yeah, I would say that uh, what enables Abaddon to be alone is the Batrider support. You're just picking Abaddon into it. There is nothing this bat can really do on the map so just gonna jungle the enemy uh hard camp and medium camp instead might be scouted by puck let's see never mind night time blue dice does it have why'd you miss that i didn't that's I your was fault watching. i was watching it I was watching it you didn't say anything um uh, you're lying! I, You're not watching! You were talking about the bat <laughs> farming! What, what is this? I like to watch gyros die in silence. That That's what it was. Definitely saw it. Ori has got some support starting to wrap mid lane. Mm. Roller and the Undying together. Tombstone was used for that kill down bottom. You have level 6 on Han as well, but it looks like maybe it's going to come down to Fiddy Fiddy. And it will be Han that gets lucky with the invis. Why yeah. why did they put a damage reduction on Invis? Do, do you remember that? That it's that it's a mechanic? It feels like the the most useless buff to a a rune. Ori did top I lane? Hold that I thought. For, okay, I that's a big rotation. I don't care what you think. Because I see Ori getting a kill. I forgot about that completely. If he had an invis rune there, he would survive because of the <laughs> damage reduction. <laughs> it's just like it's such like a 
meaningless buff where like yo it kind of looks cool that they put it in the patch notes that they're thinking about making invis better but it's just it just doesn't it's still probably one of the the worst runes out of them i'd say maybe even illusion of course it is very situational depending on the game but you could i think definitely make an argument that illusion is is more value than an invis yeah illusion can be Illusion can be very va valuable on some heroes, and it, it gives you this spell, it gives you this joint. You know, this... Overall, it's not that bad. Uh, and Invis can be used at times, I think. The, the problem with Invis, it's much better on some rotating four than on mid. Because early on, you just notice the mid missing, and that Invis... Um, just messes with the enemy minds if you're a four. Also, how many times did you steal ages because of that invis rune or get the kill on an enemy carry? It's sometimes it's good situationally, but yeah, yeah. it's, n it's yeah. not good during the laning stage. I would I would say. And I'm I'm quite impressed with Pox's net worth. Was second in net worth until the Centaur and Gyro just overtook. Meanwhile, down to the south, looks like they will run into Fy. Coil is actually going to be able to connect on the left track as well. Dyer making really good movements with their puck and. They're nice going to be rewarded for this. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the, the Grim and Undying playing as a duo together. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing really well considering they don't really have a ton of catch, but with Puck, you put that Inkswell on him or an Undying just running down you down. It's nicely done. Plus, the Dino, he had a good start to the lane, so he's not really uh, struggling too much down bottom too. They have Lash now, though. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant what do they want to do with the Lash, though? Ori, I don't know if he revealed himself or not. It's going to try and dance on the edge of vision. Somehow misses the stun. Only level once. The radius not large enough to connect. Ain't got a matter, though, in the end. They'll get the kill onto the Grimstroke. Mid lane is still taking a, a decent chunk of damage, so all things considering. Yep. Bat is going to try and defend that. Meanwhile, uh, they will take the tier 1 down bottom for sure. Basically, the map is a bit harder to play for Azuri until they get level 6 on Io, and then everything opens up. It will be very easy for them to respond to all aggression. Under... Still Wishblade, by the way, Puck. Still the same build. Nothing changed. Yeah. And well, they're gonna smoke as well. What are they guys? Tombstone back up. It is. They see Ori underneath his Observe Ward starting to path his way back to mid. No relocate once again. Stampede. Try and get some away. We'll get some separation, but it's not gonna matter. But Inkswell extra stun lock. Pretty much negates the Stampede. Relocate is now online. Lasso as well into box. Stun. They needed to address the tombstone though. With a long drawn out fight, it could be disastrous, but the cooldown's gonna give them that space required in FY. Zones out Choler as well, along with all the other members on die. So nice response out of the relocate. They get the tombstone and they get the rebuttal kill onto the puck as well. Yep, yep. They do lose Lesh first, but it's still really good for them and uh and the haste on, on Batrider really helped him out. Like, he was able, even without Stampede, to get on top of everyone. Dude, he just lost half HP <laughs> by that one hit from all the Ancients. Um, it's really nice that they're giving Ori these stacks. I feel that he did well in the lane, but not as well as I expected. So, he's gonna get some more farm from the stacks. He's also... Uh, obviously, Io doesn't have to play with Gyro 24-7, so he has that hero to help him out a bit too when it comes to taking down uh, objectives early on. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. See if they want to consider about defending this bottom tower though on Azura. It is a catapult. Well, they have a blink already on, on FY actually, so... Maybe you are looking to fight. Let's see if they want to try and bring the resources down. I mean, Lo and Tian Ming are already set up. Under 
Might be a little bit too late. FY is starting to swing to bottom. Uh, yeah, with the Cardi Wave, power will go down nonetheless. So they're going to get their first objective of the game. Meanwhile, you've got Abaddon getting very close to a Diffusal Blade. So it is the, the Diffusal Manta build, most likely, right? Like Diffusal, Manta. Relocate. Low is out. Yeah. Dampage user. They're going to react. If I was able to find the opening, Bark a little bit too slow though with the fall up stun. He'll still connect on the undying nonetheless. And Tombstone goes down too. So it is still a decent chunk of gold for Azure, but you do need a couple of heroes to rotate bottom where Han is shoving out top and it's a great timing on Witchblade considering you know, the, the start of the lane looked grim, but then we saw a lot of the rotations really buffed him back up in the net worth. So he's sitting pretty right now. Yeah, what I really liked about that Trilo as well, <clears throat> they didn't trilo a mile away. They reload very closely to the fight, attack. so they could easily uh, respawn, fight on. And what it is slowly growing though, three thousand the moment for Zure. And I do have a pretty big ancient stack. At both of them, so they've got some net worth to be able to catch up on. What do we think of this build, though, from Ori? Uh, Yules, he really seems like one of the, the few Lesh players that I see go Yules first and into the Internal Shroud next. Yeah, um, usually you expect some uh, more tankiness from the Lesh very early on. He gets Yules instead. What is it good for? You can uh, mess with Primal Beast a bit. You can get rid of the silences. You can use it as catch as well. With split turret and relocate so you can buy yourself some time before relocate comes in it's not too bad i want to see him tank here though and when it comes to network you should expect radiant to have a lead throughout the game unless they're losing because the only way you're not having a net network lead is if you're losing this game because uh, you're playing into heroes that just don't farm uh, as fast as you do you have io gyro lash you're just sweeping the map 24-7. And the the other important one is just the Batrider too, which is honestly a lot where the net worth lead is currently. And this hero is just incredibly, incredibly efficient with, with how much farm you're able to get across the map. So he's sitting pretty. Uh, Abaddon again for this build is, is going to struggle with farming. Primal Beast is having some difficulties as well. Your Blink Dagger is in line though for the three. I, uh, you know, I wish there was something shorter than the goal of all, of all life is death. I wish there was, you know, some, something easier to call them. A lead. All life is dead. There we go. A lead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with Dyer. Thank you, boss. Appreciate <laughs> <laughs> Nice job. <laughs> Bottom lane, that ball. Boss has got the borrowed time to be able to activate. There you go. You Dyer is. are starting to come down to bottom, but it's not going to matter. The Abaddon doesn't have the items to be able to tank up before the reinforcements get there. And Can once again, it is going to be all five members. Can they fight? Let's see. After the reload, this is where you usually engage. They got the cliff ward to FY. And the rest of Azure are going to be able to react in time. Importantly, it's just FY that gets caught. You see Bark goes back through the portal. And Ori's going to duck out. May have to go back to base because the resources, unless the eye is going to buff him up, and he will. Not too bad. They know that one of these guys is probably going to be greedy, remain there to farm out the camps before he moves back. And they also know that two heroes will not be around because of Rilo, so... They take their, uh, they take that opportunity to at least get the, the position for FY. Manta will be next to Abaddon, by the way. He's got it queued up, not too far away from it. And that's when this hero gets more or less a bit active. But uh, they are thinking about going on him right now. Do they have relocate? No, for 20 seconds. Box can run into them. Right, they're gonna run into him. Team is a little bit away from the centaur. 
And they're wrapping as well. Look at the pincer hunt. Going to be able to jump Ori. Relocate still down for 10 seconds. FY is going to do his best to disrupt. Ori is going to be able to turn DD here for the less track. Eternal Shroud as well makes him tanky, but mm, just not tanky enough. They'll blow him up, pulverizing him into the ground. Now FY as well charged down. And that... It looked like they were angling for Roche. I don't know if they can take it now with Tombstone and Flesh Golem used, but nonetheless, that's three great kills into the tier one tower. Yeah, and they had, like, Radiant has these two wards that are deep inside the dire jungle, um, but they aren't where they needed them. So they, these two wards ki were kind of huge bait because they didn't see pretty much anything that was going to happen. They didn't see the Grim Undying Puck from the high ground. And uh, Azura isn't tanky at the moment. That's also a fact with, with the build that they went for on Lash and Centaur. They just aren't that tanky. If they get gone on, they will die. Um, same can be said for all the cores besides Abaddon on the Dire side though. It's just that it's, it's natural for Lash and Centaur to be tankier. And that's what you'd expect. Edict. Oh, we will go down. Fuck. Nice face shift. Puck. Able to get out of range, but it's not going to matter. The supports will not have a fortunate fate. So tower into kills. And a power rune as well now for Ori to play with. I feel like whoever gets gone on dies this game. Besides maybe Abaddon, and that's it. Uh, one big thing for all life is that is the BKB on, on Primal Beast. That changes the way the game is played a bit. And uh, he's not too far from it. In trouble? He doesn't have TP, but yeah. Ooh, bop! good support Tian Ming is 19 minutes in the game still double stacking the triangle of course you I bet you don't do that <clears throat> no when I'm playing IO I just click tether and right click on the hero and that's it lean back enjoy life wait for your carry to win hmm FY the why? What's going on? He so was able to get things so well. This is a little bit difficult now, especially with the relocate. They might need a stampede. Oh, not required though to be able to catch up. Well, all right. Yep, he's gonna use it. So spell casting, little messy. We will get the kill. Good. Bit of an interesting build from the puck. The Kaya Sanj, this is something that Quinn was going for a lot before we saw some people kind of develop the Maelstrom shard build. Is there still a fight going on? FY? I'm gonna tip if you good sir. We were speaking of Quinn and the build. Yeah, the, uh, this is a build he was going for, for quite a while, even before, or even when a lot of people were still going like Agshard Maelstrom. He really likes his Kai Sanj, but I don't really see many other people still put priority on it at the moment. Usually that is just that Maelstrom Shard, but we'll see. See how it's going to fare out. He's got an Arcane Rune for this potential fight, and Rainy need a way to scout out Roche because it's about to go down. I'll get the start onto the Undying. They want to fight. Who's not Who really valuable though. Tombstone's already be used. Look at the Jark. The damage. BKB. They need a run. And Bark as well. He's going to find an angle to catch them all. Meanwhile, the Abaddon's still. I mean, keep in mind this. You carry that just gets ripped apart. And Bark is also caught up to some extra members as Real well. Okay. As Shola. Real Clipped okay. on their es escape. But they're not done. Low. We'll have some difficulty with keeping up to the Dino though. Yeah, this is uh, most likely a Tormentor, right? Yeah, they're going straight to it. So, overall, yeah, you got the Aegis, but 
You lost the shard, you lost three heroes. The ancient stack also taken. Pff, like, that. this just wasn't worth it. Nicely done by Azure to recognize that they can take a fight. And why wouldn't they be able to BKB on Gyro just... Same like the one on Primal, it just changes the game. But Primal did not have the BKB, so he couldn't just head first go straight into them and prevent this from happen, ever happening. Abaddon, charge it in. Looks like Stampede. Oh, oh Coil on. actually does clip low. Wait, how's the Yangming still alive? Can they turn this? Everyone's starting to come over. BKB is really going to be the big issue here for the Gyrocopter inside the team fight. Let's see if he still wants to take it, but... Gets the connection, Meemaw over the left side of the lasso, that's important, they got the damage, so Han is going to have to Dino Charging to try and do his best to the shot inside the middle of the fight, they'll deal with the Ages, but what is the call now for Dyer, they need to as run. they're getting pushed over to the right side, Bark ready to go once again, he'll blink over the top, recognizing the Grimstroke's dead, and his role is to catch up to the extra plus one, and he will reward his team in these efforts. I, they just tunnel visioned and uh, allowed Io to survive. That was insane. Like, he should have been dead 100% first. And then you can go for Gyro. But because Io survives, he moves back. He hides behind the trees. He uses Healing Salve. Heals up the Gyro a bit. It's not like Lou was in a big problem anyway. But that didn't... Uh, that didn't harm him. Io healing him and stuff. Also forced Puck to go really deep behind enemy lines just to assassinate Io first. And while he was doing that, everyone else fell completely apart on the other side. The Gyro in the end used the BKB, by the way. He, di he didn't. He even had it. Um, by the time that fight was uh, over, he had the BKB again. He could have used it. What is an Abaddon's role in a game where... You're the carry and you're... <laughs> I mean, look at the gyros that way compared to the Avatar. Like, this is... <laughs> he parks the carry, and I don't know what the, the Avatar going to do for them now. Yeah, you get a little bit of utility from your Aphotic Shield. You can jump, silence the Leshrac, maybe, if you get some missiles. That's nice. Right back. That was such an awesome setup from Radiant. You see the Tormentor gets claimed... And I feel like a lot of the time you would expect if the Torment is going to die, you're probably the Gyrocop that needs to be there to get it. But they actually smoke aggressively from AR with the Batrider and, and the Gyro into mid lane. So it kind of gave them like a false sense of security that the, mm. the Dino could position at least where he was. Yeah, nice bait. Very nice bait. On the Tormentor, I mean. They're going top. I and Lesh starting to play it together a little bit. Han is trying to creepscape, trying to prevent Lesh from uh, just edicting the towers, but for now at least it seems like it's not gonna work. But they are smoked. They do want to take a fight, it seems like. Can they kill Bach? It's the Bark? They have relocate. 3000 health they're gonna have to go through. Here comes the relocate. And they're just not going to be able to bring him down. And now they're kind of committed. Lesh is Low will dope. be able to deal with the tombstone and push them back and look at the pincer. Ori, he's got such an incredible angle. Blocking the escape avenue. So they have to run the opposite direction. Tola will TP up. Uh, Primal Beast has got no TP though, but looks like they're not going to try and scout him. Yeah, they relocated back mid just to continue taking the tower instead the tier 2 should fall will fall and is this this looks like it's high ground already i mean it doesn't look like they have what it takes to kill the wisp and without killing him you're probably not killing the gyro as well abaddon buying butterfly next i am just not sold on this Sometimes Abaddon looks decent or good. This is definitely not one of those games. Mm. Oh, unfortunately, it is not for the boys on Dyer. They are in a pretty grim position to find a way back in. Full set of barracks mid. Hunt. Is he jaunt? Oh, FY? Oh, this is one oh. of those instances where Invis rune. <laughs> Look at that rune. 
<laughs> Whoa, what a crazy rune. Han is still in trouble. Silent's not so going to connect onto FY. Look at the damage, though. That's something that they are currently lacking. He might jaunt to the rest of the team, or does he blink to the right? Go to the right. I'll sit on Han. Yeah, if he went where the orb was going, he'd get greeted by Gyro Io anyway, so... Nice, nice escape by him. All because of the imbalanced invisibility rune, of course. <laughs> Such a good rune, isn't it? Probably the best rune in the game. Yeah, I mean, you saw what Han was able to do with that rune, right? He just dragged four or five people over to the, the, the safe lane, so the bottom jungle area of Radiant. I mean, so much space created. He was able to take a little bit of farm as well. Like, definitely, All because definitely of that rune. rune. Incredible, yeah, incredible rune. He's probably praying he gets another Invis rune, right? Well, I mean, maybe that's how you come back in down 17,000 gold. If you get three Invis runes, then that's how Ah, uh, you... they should stack? They don't have to stack, it's just uh, the game breaks. That's how strong they are. <laughs> uh, this is uh, not a good sign if we're hoping a game's going to break for them to <laughs> try and get a draw or like find a way back in. Yeah, that's a satanic on Gyro. I, I don't know how many Invis runes are necessary to kill him. A satanic Arc boy hitting your towers. Ah, pretty good positioning. Oh, what a timing of the blink dagger. Uh, and now it's just giving them so much information. They're going to be able to get the last of drag back. Meanwhile, low. His role is to address the tombstone with a flat cannon. Also, tear apart Dyer. They have lost the eye, which is going to limit a little bit of Lowe's power. But once the Abaddon's ultimate has expired, Loke can start to go to work. They're going to buy it back on the Io as well. We'll look to rejoin. He's kind of stuck in the middle. And Han's doing whatever he can. But again, the flat cannon just sends them away. Packing to the base. Low is got like another set of barracks gone as well. Yeah, there's still the tier 2 down bottom. So they can't go for the last. Not just yet. But they are 20k ahead. And I'm not sure... Like you can maybe kill these supports, but the gyro is just such a tough cookie to break. Like, yeah, I don't feel the impact of the Abaddon, really. Like, he's got this... Is he going for this Purser, or... He's got Butterfly queued up, but I feel like this... This even should be maybe a Disperser, just to be... Running in, maybe, doing something in these fights. At the moment, it's looking really rough. Also, the way they initiated on Bach was... Unfortunate for them. You jump the centaur, he jumps out, you don't you don't flip him, and then he uses the MP just before you silence him. So he used his whole kit um, before you manage to control. Why? I'm gonna be able to give him the pipe. He was up in a couple seconds, he's staying alive long enough. Oh and look at the stun! In the choke point! Ah, the fight's over. When it starts like that. And you've got all the AOE damage to tear them apart. There is no coming back. It's just a question of can you cut your losses and Han will do his best to try and cut the wave as well, but he might be caught. Lasso still there to work. Stuns currently lacking. It's insane that they're even managing to, to catch him and to kill him off when all they have is Lasso and, and uh, Hoof Stomp. I mean, the puck didn't die too many times. He's 5-1-5. He's having a good game. Unfortunately for him, his teammates cannot do what he's doing. They cannot be as mobile. Dieback is there on the dino, but... What exactly can you do? I feel like if AR wanted to, they could perhaps even force it. And just go for the throne, fight around the base. This Io heals as much as the fountain does at the moment. With the satanic, of course. Now you're gonna have Aegis and Bannet to work with too. So... It is second rush, right? I don't remember. Yeah, it is second rush. They're actually leaving the base. moving towards that pit but it's like they want to move to the pit but th at the same time they don't want to move to the pit 
they know they're in a position that is very unlikely to lead to a win, so. Uh, they've kind I of like have to pincer, make a call soon, yeah. though. Yeah, I like the spinster move. But it, it's it's fun. If nothing else, it's fun. It's, it's fun. <laughs> it's you know, it's probably unexpected. It's like you you expect the enemy team to be in their base defending versus megas, but now that the top lane is pushing in, yeah, but they're not they're not smoked. They're just, they're running at them with all vision set up and and a twenty three thousand deficit, like. They're just gonna turn around and beat into you, and we just saw what just happened. Triple kill for low. You, you gotta catch up to the puck inside the river. Hex is there for Ori. You can blink the chase. First stun into the second. Almost actually got out of range. In fact, maybe did get in range of the split earth, but it's not gonna matter in the end. The, the damage has been dealt because inside the base, I mean, tier fours are getting beat on. They're still chasing down the puck. The hunt making them work for the kill. But really, across the map, there is. Some more grave things going on for unfortunately the boys on dial. This man refuses and... to die. Uh, yeah, yeah, Thorin is exposed. Undying's dead, and yeah, that'll be Oshiro. Now Puck just he has did. his own game. Is he gonna die before the throne explodes? Ah, he doesn't. I think he won. In his eyes, he won. He took them on this wild goose chase. They never managed to kill him off. Yeah, you do lose the throne, but minor things. <laughs> Kind of things. What is it? The uh